welcome back to the family channel. Hello. Hello. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. And today we are going to be reacting to 10 lies Europeans believe about American people. Good job, dude. Uh, yeah, we're going to be checking this video out. But first, I want to thank you guys so much. Anyone who messaged and commented on our post on Saturday or Sunday that I yes. put up. Uh, if you guys didn't see the video on Friday, one of our kittens went missing. Uh, basically, they just started to venture off outside and we took her eyes, our eyes off of her for like two seconds and she went walkabout and unfortunately she got hit by a car. Uh, so we called the emergency vets. We were there till it was a late night. night. Yeah, I, I was up pretty much all night with her because I was stressing. Uh, cat was pretending <laughs> she was sleeping because I had to wake up and check if the cat was still alive yeah, after well, she, she came back. Yeah, well, she only had 50-50 chance yeah, of if that, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, she's doing much, much better today. She has to go back to the vet every single day for yeah. some steroids and they give her some like intravenous drips and that. It's not like England or I don't know how it is over there. We can't leave her at the vet, so we take her back every day, but she's doing much, much better. She's yeah. eating, she's yeah. walking around now. And yeah, we're very thankful because we know we shouldn't have favorites, but she's probably our favorite kitten because she's so friendly. Yeah, she's so sweet. Yeah. And today they took off, like, the, she had this bandage around her belly. <laughs> yeah, they saw on the photo. She looked like a, I don't even know. It's like a, a, a Yeah, she was like walking like this because she had this thing <laughs> holding because she's got punctured uh, lungs. So they had to strap her up. Uh, but yeah, like I say, she's doing much, much better. So thank you guys so much for all your well wishes and everything. Uh, a few of you have said, geez, like you guys are going through it. But yeah, we yeah. pushed through, but... What yeah, else can you do, isn't it? Yeah. It is what it is. Yesterday we were out in the garden and she was trying to run away from us. Yeah. She was trying to go under the, like the neighbor's fence, but she had the she cone couldn't. on. She's got a cone on so now. So she kept on smashing her head into <laughs> so the Luckily, fence. that's a stopper at yeah, the moment. Yeah, so, but yeah, she's doing well. Yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's check out 10 lies Europeans believe about American people. Don't forget to subscribe. Yep. Sponsoring this channel. Okay, the first lie that I was told was that Hollywood is full of shiny things and celebrities are just everywhere. I'm just, I'm gonna say it. Hollywood itself is kind of a kick. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she really went there. When I <laughs> I don't want that is the least interesting part of America I'd to me mm. purely because I am not like celebrity obsessed. No, but I, like you can't really see them unless you go right direct into their yeah, house. Yeah, and I mean it, like, it's not something I'm interested in at all. Uh, I bumped into Gordon Ramsay once, literally walked into him and I pretended I didn't know who he was because I genuinely couldn't care. If that was me, I'd be freaking out. <laughs> it, yeah. It's not that I don't like celebrities, it's just they're normal people. So yeah. I don't You've see the big You've got to give them like, yeah. privacy. Yeah. But there, I may have seen some celebrities, but they were keeping really low key and had baseball caps on, so they were very hard to spot. And Hollywood, oh. as I said... Sorry to pause again. If we ever go, to, if we were to ever be in Hollywood, I would dress and I would hide my face so people thought I was a celebrity, ah. and I'd be pepper up and just walk. Well, up. actually, funny enough, they think you you look like that guy. What's his name? Killian Murphy. Oh yeah, yeah, some yeah, yeah so a few people have said that. I don't see it at all, but yeah. Dad is not that shiny and wonderful. The Hollywood sign itself is. I'll be honest, it's kind of a letdown. I guess I pictured Beverly Hills when I thought of Hollywood, but no. The next lie that Europeans are told about America is that it's just full of extremes. And don't get me wrong, it is, but it's not just extreme. Our perception through the media is that Americans are either really fat or really fit. They're either total jocks or nerds. Stereotypes from movies. And like I said, don't get me wrong, those stereotypes exist for a reason. However, the majority of people are not extremes. They're just regular. I'd get fat from all the Texas barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd probably get fat if yeah. we moved there. In between people with thoughts and feelings that vary and are oh, wait. Sorry. If you're wondering what's on Garen's face. Oh. We've just watched, well, I've watched most of it, the Slovakia versus the USA yes. hockey game. And I Did wasn't, you watch it? I wasn't <laughs> sure how it was going because I came up here to like turn everything on and these two were going bonkers downstairs. I was downstairs. studying in my room and yeah. I was like, oh, what <laughs> a great game. Slovakia won, if you didn't know. It was, I, I'm sure some of you watched it, but it was amazing. From yeah. what I saw, I saw the first two, oh, well, no, I saw the second... And the full second period because I was outside streaming uh -huh. grass and everything full and that play, was amazing. Fair play to America though. They had yeah, a they real came good back, comeback. Didn't they? A very Before good comeback, they isn't they it? in overtime and yeah. Yeah, because when I came yeah. upstairs it was 4-1, so oh, it's it's fair play. So it's going to be very, very loads of happy Slovak people today. Drunk. That you just 
quit your jobs whenever you want to. And that's, again, from TV shows and films. People just go, I quit when they're unhappy or having a bad day. You're fired. I did that. I quit! A few times. You're fired. I quit. You're fired! <laughs> You're fired! <laughs> Right, 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 I mean, I already quit, so... Additionally, we think from the same sources that you can just go, you are fired out of the blue, and there's no repercussions for that. In fact, a lot of times contracts are in place and stuff, and it just doesn't work like that in the real world. On The Apprentice, they do do the you're fired, but that's a specific thing. The next lie that you are told about America as a European is that everybody in America is obsessed with celebrities, uh, whereas actually the truth couldn't be farther from that. Okay, so in Europe, I'm a lot of our celebrities that. come from America. So we naturally presume that everybody is completely obsessed with celebrities within America. In actual fact, most people just kind of see their lives and what goes on behind the scenes as a little bit of entertainment, just like we do in Europe. One thing I will say is kind of odd as a European always when I go to America is seeing on your mainstream news the focus on celebrities within actual serious news programs. Aww. We don't really have that as yeah, much in Europe. I know in the UK they focus a lot on royal. The news here is quite like... Boring. Yeah. You never see a celebrity or no. anything on the news. It's quite... Um, no. It's, it's the UK. It's serious. UK has got loads of celebrities. Oh, uh, yeah, so yeah. yeah. I just... I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm so glad not everyone is obsessed with celebrities. But you don't tend to see people talking about celebs on news shows as much in Europe. The next lie, okay, and this might just be a me thing, but the next lie that I believed about America before I went to America, and I actually think you're going to probably slag me off for this in comments, I thought that you guys only had roll-on deodorant. deodorant. <laughs> I thought you didn't have spray-on deodorant. Because in movies, people always roll on their deodorant. You know, <laughs> it's such a weird one. Stuff. I know you have Old Spice and stuff like that, but I, for some reason, I had it in my head that in America, spray-on deodorant didn't exist. What did you guys think about it, the deodorant? Did you think I it was only roll-on? No, no, it's such a weird thing it. to think about, isn't no. it? Like, I wouldn't. No, I actually think that there is an um, enormous amount variety. Variety, yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's I just a... never. It's something <laughs> I would never give any thought. <laughs> I never thought of that. And I was always like, wow, they should really get spray on deodorant. I guess they don't use it in films because it goes she and it would make a noise, whereas I, like no, it's easier to Irish? just do the roll on sure. if you're like shooting a TV scene and you don't have to have the But yeah, I don't know. That maybe that's just a me. If you're from Europe, did you know that spray on deodorant existed in America? I knew that it existed, I just didn't know. The next misconception that Europeans have about America is that you're all really rich. And I get why this misconception exists. It's to TV be fair. Again. Your houses and the land that your houses are on are generally a lot bigger mm -hmm. than what we have in oh, Europe for okay. middle class people. Additionally, many people in America live on credit. So a lot of people are living above their means to what they really oh. should be living. And the thing about credit in America is you are encouraged to use credit. Like a lot of things you can't get until you build up credit, which is exists in Europe but it isn't so much yeah. focused on like there that's something here that doesn't really it. exist isn't it no. it's not a credit rating system really because I thought oh, I'm gonna build my credit I spoke about it when I first moved here and I, I was like showing our life here in Slovakia on that channel and so many Slovak people were like no it doesn't work like mm. that you go to the bank and they just check your <coughs> statement yeah, sort of thing it's not really a credit score and then they, they'll see yeah, how you manage they your money. check how much money you're getting in and how much is going out yeah. basically to really? see if you can actually yeah. pay your debts oh, okay. so it's quite like a weird one because i know yeah. i wanted to i like i wanted to buy land when we first moved here and they were like you don't even bother trying yeah. it's impossible so or other ways to build up your trust with banks and as I've mentioned before, I've never seen poverty quite like I've seen in America. In Europe, of course, there are homeless people, but not in the same way that they are in America. It really shocked me. Because oh, I went over expecting, as I said, pretty much everybody to be super rich. And then I saw people looking like Oliver Twist on the street, and that was a surprise to me. Oh, Additionally, some things in America are a lot cheaper than they are where I come from in Ireland. 
Ireland has just been named alongside Denmark as the most expensive country in Europe for the cost of living. The prices of goods and services in Ireland are on average 40% higher than they are anywhere else in the EU. And then when I went to America, it was like things were more expensive in some areas, but cheaper in other areas. So I was surprised because I thought everything would be the same, if not more expensive when I went there. The next slide that we... Before she gets into the next one, what's really expensive here in Slovakia is like electrical products like laptops yeah. cameras uh -huh. yeah. that sort of thing I, that i think I, I don't know whether the prices have just skyrocketed since we've moved yet i live in like a rock up under a rock and i don't go anywhere but or bikes yeah everything all yeah, that it, sort of yeah actually bikes yeah like, like i'm bicycles. looking because i want to get myself save up for a dirt jumper i don't know if you guys know what it is it's like a bike that you just jump on with and like the cheapest one I could find is 600 or less. But what no, you've got to know no. about Garen is he's got very expensive taste. <laughs> no. Very. <laughs> Not like Leia. Leia, we went the other day oh, nice. to a shop called Decathlon just to have a look around. And Leia was like, oh, on that bike, it's like 200 euros, <laughs> which is like, but yeah, fine. in the town we live in, there's like four bike shops like really close together yeah. yes yeah. It is. Yeah. cycling's huge over here yeah. and it's all the electric bikes that are thousands I want we are told bike. about america and this should come as no surprise and i don't want to get bogged down in the discussion too much but it's that everybody there has pew pews oh God. <laughs> and they don't not everybody does in fact it's a very divided country on people's opinions about that Texas, but no? people have very strong not opinions about that and i'm going to swiftly move on I just thought that every single person would have one when I went there, and that's not the case. The next lie that Europeans are told about America is that pretty much teenagers run America. If, if media was to be believed and movies and TV shows. In actual fact, I have still not seen a cheerleader when I've gone to America. <laughs> I have never been invited to a prom. Or bit weird that you were looking for a cheerleader yeah <laughs> uh Leia likes though you I, I think you sometimes get clouded by the thought of how american schools and that are because from what you yeah. see on tv though you think it's going to be i no, think they're it's quite not really different what i see from shows it's what i see from like vloggers oh, okay yeah but still see that that is something that they only just going to show you the the pretty Piece, part, you know, bits and pieces. The bits and pieces. Yeah, you don't see the whole bits. They've of it, got so. it good because they can pick which lessons they want in the day. No. Oh uh, no. You've got to you. <laughs> you assign to the subjects that uh, you want to study. Yeah. Oh, and they. Oh. And you have to assign to. Because in South Africa, when you get to subject. like standard eight, which is now grade ten or something here, yeah, you get to choose what subjects you want to do. Really? Yeah, I don't mm. know That's how it works in do. America. Mm. So. Like. Because I don't think I'm going to do anything with history. <laughs> I, I love history. I love history. I or love geography. Or geography. No, geography. Oh, homecoming. And that seems like an integral part of your society from film and TV. I'd love to go so. to a prom. Yeah, I know movies and TV shows aren't real, but I definitely thought that teenagers would have a more central role in America as a result of watching so many of them. The next lie that we are told about America is that you guys eat fast food constantly. And that actually could not be further from the truth. Americans, more so than anywhere else in the world, love to cook. Mm -hmm. Americans love to barbecue. <laughs> it's like your thing. You're like, my grill, my barbecue, you're mad for cooking. Yeah. There is fast food on every corner in America. So that's where the perception comes from. It's yeah, a lot easier say. to get your hands on. But most Americans don't eat fast food. Ever. The same could be said about the UK, though, because there's yeah. like a McDonald's everywhere. Yes. Yeah, we're quite lucky. Well, Lucky or unlucky, depending well, on how you look at it. But the closest McDonald's is what, half an hour away? Yeah, yeah. and the Burger King. And the Burger King's um, there as well. KFC is an hour and a half. <laughs> he shakes. Yeah. But yeah, we're not, we're not really fast food people. We, we cook a lot. We cook a um, lot. Even though we had Burger King twice last week. <laughs> yeah. Well, kids did. Yeah, kids did. Because it was a bit hectic. So, yeah, we've had yeah. a hectic couple of weeks, to be honest with you. I yeah. did a, bar well, a grilled duck today, which was quite nice. Yes, yeah, so it was actually going really out nice. to eat again. Oh yes, yeah, it's Leia's birthday, birthday tomorrow, tomorrow, so we're taking her out for a nice meal. But yeah, we cook most of the time. Yeah. I yeah, like the, yeah. and the thing is, I've I've subscribed on my pro, like on my personal YouTube channel that is only for what I watch and that on my phone. I've subscribed to so many like different cooking shows, and I tell you what, the Americans do it right, man, with the seasoning and 
because I, I love my seasoning. Yeah, yeah. I love. I, the problem is, I can't really eat that spicy food anymore. No. Whereas if we come over there, I will be. I'll just. Oh, suffer I won't eat anything spicy. Yeah, Leia hates spicy. Like, I love spicy food, you, but it doesn't love you me. You put the touch of pepper or something in there in my food, and I'm like, no. Nope, I'm ending up on the toilet every right? single day. <laughs> we can cook for the most part. I definitely thought Americans just ate TV dinners and fast food TV constantly, dinners. and cooking was like something you did at family events. The next lie that we are told about America is that your breakfasts are crazy. Like you eat waffles and pancakes and cereal yeah, that's every yeah. single morning. You have a full feast for breakfast every day. So yay! Enjoy uh, smelling breakfast. In fact, I think most Americans probably live on just the same kinds of breakfast as most of us Europeans do. Of course, we have Irish breakfast. You have American breakfast, which consists of cereal. waffles and pancakes. They do exist. But mostly, I think our general day breakfasts cross over. You might have a bowl of porridge, a bowl of cereal, a slice of toast with a coffee. I definitely thought it was like America-themed breakfast every single day, whereas that's not really sustainable and you would be carrying a lot of extra weight if you ate that every single day. I would love to have American breakfast every single day, but it's not a good idea. Although the same could be said for Irish breakfast. You should not eat Irish breakfast every single day. To be honest, after yeah. I have an Irish breakfast, it's delicious, but it slows English me down. Breakfast. I'm like very, I like to have a little nap after an Irish breakfast. The next yeah. lie we're told about America, and there's truth in this one, but not as much as I had thought, is that you will go around suing each other constantly. America I'm is suing. an extremely litigious country, but I think that's also due to the proportion of people compared to everywhere else in the world. Like if there's yeah, that is a, that is a, 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 that, that's big in England, isn't it? Not really. No, I think it was getting big with the where there's a blame, there's a claim thing, like yeah. work and stuff. But um, from what you see in the TV and the movies and stuff, they they do make up like everyone just sues each other. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's one I have to admit I always thought because like it's just especially with the Karens. <laughs> Karens are everywhere. People, right? But the impression that we are given I'm of silly. Americans is that if you bang your head on something, you're going to sue the company that built that something. Whereas the truth is, most times when something happens, people just let it go unless there's like serious ramifications. I definitely did think people just went around suing each other. I don't think that this is not fueled by the urban myths that are created on the internet. For example, there's that urban myth about the woman in America who sued McDonald's because her coffee was too hot, whereas if you actually go and look that up, the truth is that woman was actually really badly injured yeah. and that the coffee was way hotter than it should have been. But people like these uh, extravagant headlines and it makes Europeans think that Sorry. Americans... I don't know, though. If you're drinking coffee every day, this is what gets me. How does how is it too hot though? Does she order black coffee every day? Because black coffee, I expect it to be hot. Yeah. Like yeah. you drink black coffee, yeah. and hot. when I make Kat a cup of coffee or something, she'll put it down and wait till it's cooled just a little bit yeah. before you start drinking it. So with the woman who got burned, I want to look this up actually, because a few people said she actually got seriously injured. Because I couldn't believe that when really? I first heard it. Yeah, uh, she spilt it on herself while she was driving or something, Ooh. and it like oh. proper burned her. And do just go around being like, you're sued, like, you're sued, you're sued, you're sued. And also I thought that every American just had a lawyer on standby. Yeah. When you see things yeah, again, people go, well, call my lawyer. Call my lawyer. Most people don't just have a lawyer to call. You generally have to research that. <laughs> Let me know below in comments if you want to see the other way round version of this. Lies Americans are told <laughs> about like Europe. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a long list. Yeah. Yeah, let us know what you think about Europeans. I don't know whether I can class myself as a European because I'm yeah, South African, but I live in Europe and I have yeah. done for the last long, yeah, long 16. time. But you still got your own ways. Who, me? Yeah. Do I? Yeah. As Like, for example, cutting a grass on a Sunday. Yeah. That's a big no-no in Slovakia. Yeah, but it's the only time I could get it done. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you still have mm. your ways. Yeah. Because, uh, like, I think mo in most of Europe, the Sunday is like supposed to be relax. a relaxed day. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, there was that bank holiday recently that you wouldn't let me do anything because yeah, the neighbor. It was, <laughs> religious, uh, it was very religious uh, bank holiday. So, and Jenna wanted to do something. And I'm like, no, you can't do you it. You can't do like it. We're going to get. We'll get. People talking so about us in the village. Our neighbors already hate us. So. Well, no, they don't no. hate us. It's they just, just judge us. Well, yeah, it's they just make a, noise. Yeah, but that's they're allowed to. It's uh -huh. their garden. It's just frustrating to us. Yeah. Because yeah. we're trying to do. Because whenever we want to relax, 
Yeah. Well, let's not get into the neighbor chat now. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, uh, we were meant to film vlogs this weekend, but with what happened with the cat and everything, it was a bit of a nightmare, yes. wasn't it? Yes, every, every plan that we had for the weekend Went straight basically out the didn't window. happen. Yep. So, straight out the window. Uh, Saturday, I was exhausted because I, I was pretty much up all night. Even my watch said I'd only got an hour's sleep because uh, I kept checking on it and then I woke up at like four in the morning and Kat was apparently awake but she was pretending she was asleep till I checked on the cat because she was sleeping here in our room and Kat was too scared in case she had died so I was like I was scared I was lying there I was like right one two nope we'll do it one two three and then I sat up and she was just sitting there looking at me so yeah she's doing much better I, I, I was stressing I was stressing yeah, yeah. Garen stayed at home when we went to we, the vet because we he's like it's going to take long and we were there for long we, we were yeah. like 12 o'clock yeah. and it's funny too. enough because the when we went to the vet it was like half past 10 at night and apparently at that time you could see the northern lights yeah, in we Slovakia. Missed it all. We missed and everything. we were actually out and we didn't even look up. Yeah. <laughs> well we were in the vet for so long. Yeah, but on the way to the vet yeah. we could have seen yeah. it and yeah. we just didn't. We were all like so stressed, stressed. about the little cats. Anyway, so. thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. We hope you had an awesome weekend and yes. we will see you when? Next, in video. next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.